Hey guys, I'm Fireman John with the Edmund Fire Department, and I'm here to talk about community helpers and the uniforms that we wear. I'm here to talk about community helpers. As a fireman, I'm a community helper. There are also other examples you can use your imagination to be able to identify other community helpers, maybe doctors, teachers, or even policemen. I'm going to bring in Firefighter Sam to demonstrate what it shows to be a community helper. Fireman Sam has his fireman patch on the side of his arm. That can that identifies that he is a firefighter and that he is a community helper. He also has his little nice shiny badge right here. Police officers also have these type of badges. They're a little bit different though. He also has his name name tag that shows identifies who he is and that he also is a community helper. We have different types of medical help. We have uh, EMT basics and paramedics. They have either a white patch or a gold patch on this sleeve. So these different things can identify us as community helpers. Thank you, Firefighter Sam, for your help. So now we're here to talk about medical PPE, also known as personal protective equipment. I'm going to have Firefighter Jason here demonstrate what we wear on medical calls. As you can see, he has a mask that he wears that helps him uh, so that air, when he breathes, he doesn't breathe onto the patient. He has uh, glasses that protect his eyes, and he has gloves that protect his hands so that he doesn't give germs or he doesn't receive germs from the patient. He also has these coveralls on that protect uh, his body, his arms, legs, and everything from uh, different exposures as well. Thank you, Fire Jason, for your help. I'd also like to talk to you guys about a different type of uniform that we have. It's called bunker gear. The reason why it's called bunker gear is because we used to sleep in bunk beds. I don't know if any of you guys have bunk beds, but we used to keep our gear next to it, and when we would wake up to go on a call, we would go put it on. We also wear this just not on fires, but on car wrecks, and if we're out on the highway uh, doing different types of stuff, so it's just not for fires. I'm gonna bring in Fireman Sam to demonstrate on putting on the fire, putting on the bunker gear, and di the different aspects, and uh, that he's gonna look a little different, but it's still Fireman Sam. See, he's in his his blue uniform. So now, Fireman Sam, put on your hood and your pants. As you can see, he put this funny looking hood on that protected his ears, his head, and his neck. We use that because fire is really, really hot and we need to be able to protect all layers of our body. These pants, they're maybe a little bit funny looking because they have suspenders. Sam, you know why they have those suspenders on your pants? No, why? So you keep your pants up. <laughs> so uh, now we're gonna put on our jacket. This is a big old jacket right here. As you can see, it covers his arms and his chest. It goes all the way up over his neck. He's looking a little bit different now, isn't he? But it's still Firefighter Sam. So now you can see that he has his helmet and his gloves on to be able to protect his, his hard head and his hands, but he's still not ready to go into a fire. What do you think you're missing, Sam, do you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe something to go over my face? Correct. How about you go grab your mask for me? Here. He's putting this on because in fire there's smoke, and we just can't breathe smoke. So we have to be able to protect our face from all of that and be able to breathe air and to crawl around and to be able to, to search and put out the fire. So as he's gearing up here, this air pack makes a lot of funny noises. He's still Fireman Sam even though he has all of this on. 
This is what the air pack looks like. It's pretty heavy. So now he's going to put his mask on for us and to be able to, to hear what he sounds like when he's breathing air. See, he's putting that hood back over his, over his mask to be able to protect his head and all of the rest of his skin. Put his helmet back on, tighten his strap. What's up? Can you hear me? I can hear you. This See, is still Fireman Sam. And this is still Fireman Sam. Hey, Fireman Sam. That was pretty slow putting all that gear on. You think that we should race? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So when we're training to be firefighters, we actually spend one whole day on just about our bunker gear on learning how to put it on and take it off. Uh, when we do that, we have to put our bunker gear on in less than a minute, and then we have only one more minute to put on our mask and our uh, SCBA, which is our air pack. John, I think I can do it in a minute 30. You think you can beat me? Yeah. Go! demos and station tours are a time-honored tradition and since during this crisis we can't come to you i'd like to thank you for coming and spending some time with us i hope you learned something and have a great day Hey guys, I'm John Carpenter. Thank you, still Fireman Sam. Pretty sure he's doing it. We don't. <laughs>